Hi, this is a slightly different video from my usual, but if you don't use Dropbox or you don't care about ignoring files on it, you can skip this one and check out the rest of the channel. But if you do use Dropbox and for some reason you need to place a file in your Dropbox folder without it being uploaded or synced to Dropbox, I'll show you how to do that. And ignoring a file is different than Smart Sync or Selective Sync, which are the options that Dropbox comes with. Those let you keep a file in Dropbox, in the Dropbox servers, without that file being on your computer. But what I'm talking about, it's kind of the opposite because you keep the file just on your computer in your Dropbox folder, but without it uploading to the Dropbox servers. <laughs> I needed this when I was working on my app Render Boss because when you render to a Dropbox folder, it needs to create a lot of temporary files that don't need to be uploaded to the Dropbox servers. And they're huge files, so they can clog up your queue. So I had to figure out how to tell Dropbox to not upload those. I figured other people might need to ignore files as well for other reasons. So I made just that little feature into its own separate tool that you can download completely free. Link is in the description below. Let me show you how it works. Here, I have a folder inside my Dropbox and let's say I want Dropbox to ignore one of these. There is not an option to do so by default. So if I go to the link that's in the description, I can download my tool and it's a zip file that I can extract to a permanent location. I'll just place it on the C drive. Now that I've extracted it, I can open the folder and run the application that's inside. Now, all I need to do is enter the path of the file or the folder that I want to ignore into this little box. Let me get the folder again. All right, and right, so I'll just copy the path, paste it here. and then I will click ignore from Dropbox. And the file will get a little gray line, meaning it's now being ignored by Dropbox. But if you need to do this more than a couple of times, the better way to do it would be to right click on a file and just ignore it directly. To set that up, you just need to click the install button over here, but you need to do it as an administrator. So I'm gonna close the little app here and I'm gonna open it again, but by right clicking, then run as administrator. And now I should be able to do it. Right. Now, if I go back to my folder inside Dropbox, I can right click and I have this new button called ignore from Dropbox. And if I press it, now Dropbox is ignoring it. I don't have to keep the application open or anything. I can close it. As long as I don't delete it, it should work fine. And it works with folders as well. And that's it. I hope that helps. This video is slightly different from what I usually do, but I have some fun stuff. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and subscribe if you like it. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. So too many trucks, too many trucks, too many trucks.